Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Today's video, we have two things going on today. I'm going to be opening up two jewelry lots that I bought off of Mercari. Um, like I've said in the past, usually my sales on Mercari are, you know, very slim. I don't sell that much on there. So what I do with the money, um, I just reinvest it into my business and buy jewelry lots. Um, so I have two. This one came in a really cool cigar box. So let's open up this one. So, um, again, if anyone's interested in purchasing anything, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And if you guys hear beeping, that's the renovators next door. <laughs> All right, so let's dive on in and see what we got. All right, so this seller, actually, this is the daughter who's the seller, but the mother reached out to me through email and um, just, you know, told me about her daughter and how she does jewelry sales and wanted me to check out her Mercari page and give some any advice if I could and maybe make a purchase, I was, you know, I'll, I'll check it out, sure. So um, I'll leave the link to her Mercari um, in the description. She sells lots, um, you know, like relatively small lots, like, like this one I'm showing you, um, but you know, for a good price. So I'll leave her information below. So I was fine to buy something because, you know, the jewelry was nice looking, so. Here we are. Um, this looks like a cute little choker. Um, really cool, like Southwest vibes with the faux turquoise. There does seem to be some type of maker mark, but I am unfamiliar with that. And on the other side, it's just a little feather, but that's very cute. So this. Ooh, I like this. Let me make, get it the right way. So it's a little dangle leaf gold tone necklace. Very, very boho, very cute. Love it. Oh, it's Coldwater Creek. All right, so that's good. I'll put that in my listing. So this is cute. I like this too. We'll save that little baggie and reuse it. So let's look at these earrings. It's an earring, earrings and necklace. So here are the earrings. Those are cute. Like the blue and the gold. From Bachman's $22. And then this is the necklace. I like that a lot. Very cute. So that'll definitely be able to get sold. Cute little set. Okay, ooh, I like this. So this is a little bracelet with stones. Um, I don't know if, I mean, they're actual stone, but I don't know if they're gonna be the real gemstone. Um, we can test it. So fire up Pressy, we'll put that to the side. This says Alexander Califano, genuine pearls, ge natural gemstones of Las Vegas. Okay, that's cool. Feels nice, it feels like real stone. All right, we'll test that as well maybe. Oh, here's another one. So we can test this one too. Just seeing if it had uh, anything on the clasp, very cute. All right, so let's see what good old Pressy says. Let's try this one first since it says it's um, natural gemstone. Yep, so that would be jadeite or jade. This might be citrine. Oh, maybe not, maybe it's all jade. Yeah. It might all be jade, just different colors. That's really cool. 
All right, very nice, and it's new with tag, perfect. So let's see what this one does. Oh, these round stones are hard. The needle just slips off of it. All right, so that, mm, I don't know. It's, they all seem to be coming up right in the middle of the garnet, tourmaline, and iolite. Yeah. Oh, that one's amethyst probably because it's purple. So yeah, that's cool. So these, we have a multi-stone bracelet here. Let's see about this one. Maybe quartz. Mm. Not doing too much. There we go. There's maybe some jade. All right, so we got a few on here too. Not bad. All right, let's see. Oh, I saw this. So the pictures show everything in the lot, but of course I forget by the time I actually get it to be filmed. So I do remember this and this this piece and there was one other, maybe two others that sold me on the lot. And this was one of them. I thought this was so cool. Very, very neat little uh, necklace. It probably would sit right at the base of the throat. Very cool. Sweet. Okay. Moving right along. All right, let's look at these earrings. These are cute. <clears throat> so these have some faux turquoise on them. And the earrings, I think, are just a silver tone. But very cute. Very boho southwest as well. I like this a lot because it seems to have that um, style. So these look like some... Um, oh, she... Okay, so she clipped them in the bag. Oops. So these look like uh, some tiger eye. Very cool. I like how the stripe goes like across, across it instead of, you know, whatever else. <laughs> Very cool. These are nice. I think they're just silver tone, but those are very nice. I'll put that to the side. Okay, here's another piece that I really liked was this little turtle. This little turtle um, pendant with the little belly, the um, blue. So this says 1997 Wheeler. All right, so I didn't know that from the picture because there was no picture of the underneath, but this is very cute. I love this. So I will find a chain for it and it will be for sale. This one was cool too. Um, it's just faux turquoise. It's just a cabochon. It's not even um, a real stone, but it is very nice and it's adjustable. Of course, it doesn't fit. Oh, there we go. So that's cute. And um, the pricing for you guys, you know, between five and ten dollars. Uh, if if you guys have bought from me before, you know that that's usually my price range. <laughs> Okay, this is an abalone ring, and I think it might just be silver tone, but let's see. Oh, well, maybe not. Let's check it really quick. There's no markings, but we can double check. Nope, it is not silver. No, 
well, right? So that is a very cute little band. And let's get a size. It's, I mean, if I push it really down on it, it's an eight. So I guess we'll just say an eight um, on the ring, abalone ring. And we have this big chunker. This is, I guess, mother of pearl or like a seashell, like a shell ring. But this is pretty big, so maybe it's for a man. Because, I mean, it's even big on my ring finger. Or is it something else that I'm not catching on? <laughs> it is a nine and a half. But that's pretty cool. It looks like a mask. <laughs> oh, well, let's open this first. So here's another pair of earrings. I won't take them out of the bag because they're hooked through the side here. But they have a really cute bear. Oh, I like these with like a like a clay bead and the um. Oh, is one missing? I think one of the feathers is missing. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I would fix that. So I'd have to think about that. The little tassel right here is missing. Okay, so we'll put those on the side because I'm not really sure what to do with those yet. And then here are the last pieces. These are bracelets, and these I thought were really cool. This is the other piece that sold me on the lot. I thought this was awesome. Um, a copper bracelet with all these really cool Native American symbols on it. A bison. I've got the alligator i forget what that's called little mummy that's really cool bow and arrow and the the headdress so this i thought was awesome and there's no marks very cool and then we have some a stone bracelet this definitely looks vintage. I mean, so is the copper one. So this is awesome. I'll have to go on Fire Mountain Gems website so I can learn all my stones. You can search by color and find your stone. I think this is awesome. So cool. Can't wait to do some research. Okay, yeah, no markings. But I love that. Very earthy. <laughs> and then this one was cool too. It's like little rocket ships. This reminds me of like the um, the ice pops. I know it's not the same color, but like the rocket ice, ice pops. I think they're red, white, and blue. <laughs> this is really cool. Is this anything... No, this isn't pulling up as anything, but very cool nonetheless. Just checking out the findings. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay, one more little bag or wrapping. These are some necklaces. So we have this one I thought was beautiful. It's um, a bunch of stones. Oh, it's actually snow obsidian. Oh, cool. I couldn't tell from the picture. So these black with the white. Oh, if I was in frame. These black with the white is snow obsidian. And um, then just black. Well, it's like a gunmetal bead. Awesome. Very cool. And that looks probably like Mother of Pearl, like dyed Mother of Pearl. And it's, maybe somebody may have, may have handmade this, but either way, it's gorgeous. And some of the um, strands are longer than the other, so it kind of like, it's like a shawl, like a scarf-like effect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
And the last piece is this, which is a Howlite. I can tell that this is this one's easy to tell. Some are really hard, and I have a really hard time. But this is dyed Howlite, not turquoise, but even still, it's beautiful. Cool um, toggle clasp. And this probably sits right at the base of the throat too, so that would be really pretty. It kind of has like a little, almost like a sweetheart neckline, but if it was a necklace. <laughs> All right, so that was awesome. So definitely check out her page, her um, Mercari. Where am I gonna put all this? You know what, let me just scooch it over to the side here. All right, now we got this cool cigar box. And I didn't even untape the lid because she taped it. So let's do that. like a present okay so let's bring you guys out a little bit so you can see I have a bunch of buttons here I don't remember these being in the picture but okay um, a bunch of Phoenix Arizona stuff Um, all right. I don't know anything about buttons, um, so I'll have to look these up online to see if they would even be worth anything. Gillette Blue Blades. That's kind of cool. It's probably vintage. Sears. Wow, that's a, a brooch, a pin. This thing is heavy. Better have some... Nice fabric on your shirt. <laughs> All right, so this is the jewelry. So let's take this out. We'll close this up. This is actually a nice box. I might even try to resell this because it's made out of like a nice wood. Hecho in Nicaragua. Made in Nicaragua. All right, we'll put that on the floor for now. I love this bag, so I will repurpose that. Let me just get a sip of water. I do not remember what was in here either. However, there is one piece I do remember, because it's right here, that sold me on it. But we are going to show you that last. <laughs> All right. First up, IQS. I don't know what that is. I mean, it looks like a pretty nicely made bracelet. Oh, let me bring you guys in a little closer. Got a nice fold over. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the IQS is, so I'll have to look that up. And I think I see another one, so let me pull that out. I renew. I don't know. These might be like promotional bracelets, possibly. Okay, this is super pretty. I love the mesh, and inside the mesh, there's crystals. That is awesome. With mother of pearl beads. Wow. Oh, I like it a lot. Nothing on the clasp, but that is beautiful. You're a beaut. All right. Let's look at this. Okay, this looks like Crown Trafari right there. So that's nice. This is very pretty. Love it. I love the little like vine or whatever it is in here and then all the stones in the necklace are here. There's a little bit of wear right there, but I think we're okay. 
So that's, that's nice. That's going to be sold as well. Here's, I'm coming up with a couple earrings, so we'll just put them on the side for now. Here's these lovely tie tacks that I can't stand because they don't sell. Um, it is not marked. Oop. Okay, well, I dropped it, so it's going to stay on the floor. <laughs> Here's another earring. Ooh, that's a cool earring. Let's put that on the side. Here's a brooch, but it's missing two pearls, so that'll go into um, <clears throat> a craft lot. Here's another earring, earring, earring and earring. I guess there was a lot of earrings. Can't really tell in the picture because, you know, everything was in the box, so like... There could have been stuff under. Um, so this one, we have the mate for right here. So these are cool. It has like a hematite bead with this really pretty flower lever backs. These are cool. So those will get sold. This is cool. Wow, look at that earring. I love that. It almost looks like it would house potpourri or something. <laughs> so we'll put that on the side. Here's a pair of earrings right here. These are really cool. Multi-strand. It looks like they're, in, they're good quality. But there's no markings. But they will get sold. I like them. Um, I thought I saw, nope, no, oh yeah, this, these mates, these are just little tiny plastic earrings, they might however be sterling, because they're not picking up on the magnet, eh, we'll have to check them out, but. I think they're just going to go into a mystery lot. I also have those available uh, in my eBay store. Um, yeah, so I don't think we have any matches yet, so we'll put those to the side. Oh, look, here's my little um, potpourri. These are so cool. I love them. That would be even cool if they opened. So those definitely get sold. All right, here is a mate. If I can get it untangled. Tangly wangly. All right, these are lever backs as well. Glass beads, very cute. I'll probably put them in, in a mystery lot. Uh, I saw another. Here's another pair. These, I believe, are glass as well. Hmm. I don't think they're gold. But we might have to check them out. Yeah, there's no markings. All right, we'll do some research. Okay, let's keep going. This, I think, is right here. Uh, maybe not because it doesn't look like it's the same color, so there might be another one in there. We'll hold off. We have these. These are cool. These look very antique with the, with the tops. Oh, I almost dropped it. Look at that. I like these. Do I keep going out of focus? Very cool. Oh, I like this earring too. All right, we'll just wait on a mate. Ooh, a pretty cloisonne 
bracelet with some hearts. It's in excellent condition. Ooh, that clasp is tight. Um, I don't see, oh yeah. Oh no, it just says China. But I like that. Very nice. Okay, I see these two. Pretty glass beads as well. These look like they might be like a precious stone, but definitely not sterling silver. I can tell that. Um, and these, I don't have the mates for, so I'll put them to the side. All right, here's the big mama that we saw earlier. These are super cool. These definitely give me like Aztec Egyptian vibes. <laughs> super cool. I'll just have to find some backs and we are good to go. Don't have a mate for that, but that's really pretty. Here we go. These are cute. Uh, don't see any markings. Not bad. I saw this, these ones. I think someone may have made most of these. <clears throat> Here's another meat. Those are cool, they're like spiral mother of pearl. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's may see something. See, none of this stuff is magnetic, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of testing. These, I think we had a mate. So those are nice. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Here's more with the little bead on the lever back. None of them are marked. Boo hoo. Here's another pair that I see. These, oh my God, these are so cute. It has, they have little chickens on them. Hold on, let me get the ear wires out of the way. Look at how cute these are. Oh my God, with the little chickies. Let me see, are those stone? No, very cute with the little flowers. I love these, very cute, very, very cute. We had this, oh, these are, oh, these are actually studs. So those are kind of cool. And then these we don't have mates for. Here's these, these have a mate. These are glass, I can tell they're very well made. They would look like little, <clears throat> like cranberries or grapes on your ear, very cute. All right, these all don't have mates yet. Here's the little turquoise. This is hal dyed halite. I love the end caps though. Very pretty. Yeah, none of them, they all must be made out of aluminum because none of them are magnetic. So very pretty, I'll sell those. We have 
this mate right over here. And no maker. Very cute. Here's this mate. I like these. So these do not have a name either. And I'll just have to find some backs for them. And then here were these really cool ones. Oh, but the red bead is missing. The red, oh, there's two missing on this one. The blue here and then the red up there. So these will have to go into craft, unfortunately. And here were these. Fun little earrings. Okay, and then here's this one. Yep, well, you get the point. <laughs> oh, and these ones, I like these. And they actually have, like, the front of the lever back actually has a design. Very cool. And then we have these. So all the earrings, I mean, I'd probably do like three to five dollars, you know, something, something like that. And everything else, you know, between five and ten. Okay, this is a vintage faux pearl bracelet. There might be some pieces that'll be a little bit more than 10. But this is good. And then we have this. So these little pieces, are they glass? Yep, probably. Don't see a maker, but it's really pretty. All right, I guess these are the mates, but they don't really, I mean, this one looks silver to me compared to this one. So we're just gonna put these into, unless they're supposed to look like that. No, cause the other one's like really gold. So yeah, all right. Then we have that lonely boy. That sucks. There's definitely no meat because I'm last of the bag now. Look at the tip on that. That is that is a sharp one. All right. So the last piece is my favorite piece. It is not for sale at the moment. <laughs> I might be wearing it a few times. You guys, this is why I bought the whole lot. So I'll start you off with the top of the necklace. Look at that. I love me some scarab. Oh my God, it's so cool. <laughs> it's definitely made out of some type of stone or rock. Carved. Awesome, just beautiful awesomeness. Um, some of these do look like scarabs like that one, but like some don't. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I saw this and I was like, yes, please. I don't even care what the, <laughs> I don't even care what the rest of the box looks like. So yeah, I am in love with this. Okay, guys, that was it. So I hope you all enjoyed. And please feel free to shoot me an email and we'll go over some pricing and all that good stuff. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one.